This is Mashiq bin Nadeem. So today we talk about how we create a stopwatch through using JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Uh, if you come in person in my channel, so please subscribe and also press the bell icon for more informative videos. So let's start create a stopwatch. So firstly, I create a folder. Then I put here name of our object like stopwatch and and I open it on a VS Code uh, I just put here CMD and again throw command code space start okay there is interface of visual studio code where we coded our stopwatch firstly i create a file of index.html for html work now we create another file of css for styling by name style.css And also create a third file for JavaScript by naming app.js. After creating these files, firstly I come towards index.html, where I create a basic structure of it, and I also create links of app.js and style.css. Okay, so here we create a link for Here we keep the style of CSS, then move towards the body and provide the script and ask SRC is app.js. Okay, so now this is the basic structure of HTML through which our work web work. After creating the links and the script. Firstly, we visit how our stopwatch work and how it look like. So I move towards Google. And here I search stopwatch timer. So now you see this type of stopwatch we want to create in this video. So now we start it. Firstly, we create a div. And here I keep the move tag of H1, which is used for heading. Okay, here I put here 0, 0, 0, and also 0 and 0. So here's the question why I put in H1 tag 0, 0, 0. Here the H1 tag defined. For minutes, first four minutes, and and h2 tags defined for seconds, and third tags, which is for milliseconds. Also, these will be understanding for you. So I delete from here this. Uh, here I provide. ID which name firstly I put for minutes then I move to the second ID which I provide for seconds and third for ID for milliseconds for M E C okay so here in first day we create three tags we are first for minutes second for second for seconds and third for milliseconds okay here we also create a div where we provide 
mean having stopwatch. Okay, so now we saw the result on our browser. I open our Chrome browser and we saw this. We create firstly we create a div on white heading for stopwatch and we create three multiple tags of h1 where we put zero 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 so our code is working properly now we create a, another div where we give three multiple buttons So first button I put for start and second one is pause or stop and third one which is used for reset. So in this tag we create a new div and provide three buttons the first button is start second button is pause and stop and the third one is used for reset so now after completing this html code we move towards style css for styling firstly we style we provide style for body so create a body tag and uh, here firstly we give background color Mm, here we give background color for black and provide the taxi line the taxi line is on center now the second tag we used here is h1 so I also call here h1 tag okay I target here h1 tag mm, and give okay display line block because our r zero zero button r zero zero is shown in parallel form display line and also give block i provide here the color is blue and here also i give uh, background color uh, which is white okay and now i provide them width which is uh, about 100 pixels okay so you saw this is the one error shown because we cannot be code will be running properly because of this mistake okay um, we move towards the browser and check okay you saw this a stopwatch structure will be completed okay so this the div <coughs> the h1 tag which is in stopwatch will be go outside the div so I move towards the code and remove from h1 to h2 so and now I check oh okay uh, I come to my code and target the h2 and I give color white and now saw the result on my browser okay you see stopwatch and the proper structure if we, after creating the proper structure uh, I move towards code now uh, here I provide the button on click on click to start So here I also provide and click 
to stop and on third the on click to reset okay to re provide the button on button tag on click to start on start button and second to stop on click to stop and third to reset on click to re for reset okay so after creating this on click we move towards app.js which is for javascript here we put var is equals var min is equals to zero and another one is for second which is also is equals to zero and now the third one which is for milliseconds which is also is equals to zero now we call their headings by war min heading is equals to document dot catch element by id is firstly for minutes and here second for war firstly we do for minute and for second is equals to document dot get element by id and for seconds here I cook here I copy the code and put here this change is mec for millisecond and I turn here just M for milliseconds hope so this will be understanding for you here we use camel case in JavaScript we use camel case so now here we call the function of timer here put function and I put here this timer then I increment in M sec plus plus which is used for increment and then we, I create the heading tag which is m sec mc heading dot inner html is equals to is equals to I'm sick. Now we create if condition like if I'm sick is less than equals to hundred, then you would be increment in sec which is for seconds and then calling m sec heading dot inner html is equals to sec okay and here we put After creating this, we have to create another three functions, which we, I which we call in our button. The first one is start, second stop, and third one is reset. So I move towards again JavaScript, and here we firstly call for function, and I put is for first is just start. I give here 
interval is equal to set interval. Firstly, we give the timer which I called in above. This is the timer function for increment, and the second one is 10 after closing the loop. Now I also create another variable which is interval which I call here okay the function start will be call now I checked on my browser by refreshing okay so now you see there is increment on this millisecond and move towards the second so now you guys see this our start button is working properly now again when we move towards the third after calling start function I call the function second function which is stop okay and I call for clear interval and give the variable address which is um, interval okay now again we check the code by refreshing it I press on start button and I click yes As you guys see this if I click on stop and pause button this stop watch will be stop and again I give to start then again it will start it also this will be understanding for you guys and again we call the third function which is function of is to reset Call here for a set. Firstly, give him minutes is equals to zero. And seconds is equals to zero. And milliseconds is also is equals to zero. Now I call the in headings chart html and my put here is minutes now I copy it to my tool headings Another one is for the tens, and I also change and press second. Now I refresh the code and check yes, yes. If you guys see this, two, I put. See this, there is an increment and properly working stopwatch is ready for use. Also, this video will be made for you. For more interesting videos, you can visit my YouTube channel. Till then, love us.